Alrighty guys, so I have a video that I'm doing today about Celebration Canada, Canada's Wonderland, and then a mini construction update at the end. It's just about the track and a little bit on what's going on with the track from what I'm seeing and understanding. But let's get right into Celebration Canada. So Celebration Canada is an event that goes from June 30th to July 2nd. It is one of my favorite times at Canada's Wonderland. I love this month, loved it last year. Um, love so far what I've seen this year. Um, it's my fa It's literally the best thing to happen at Canada's Wonderland. I love it. I can't wait for it to keep returning. It keeps getting better. The live shows, the you know, the beverages and the food is outstanding. What they're doing around the park on top of that is also outstanding. I mean, look at this. This is just so vibrant. It, I mean, this is filmed on an iPhone 10 or an iPhone X, whatever you want to call it, and it is just popping. But this is what it really looks like in person, and I was in love with it. Um, couldn't um, I couldn't have asked for more. Um, the show's Lumberjack, the uh, the uh, condiments, uh, <laughs> which is funny that they had a lot of condiment shacks set up. I guess a lot of people are ordering food, but it today was really hot and the park was extremely busy, but the rides all had walk-ons. Um, so definitely don't hesitate to go to the park when it's busy because a lot of the people are in Splashworks. So go um, get on some rides because the lines are amazing. Um, but yes, loved what the park did around the park as well. They decorated it from head to toe, lots of Canadian flags everywhere. It looked really great. I just loved it. Even though it was like just little touches here and there, it was outstanding. Um, so definitely go check out the park for this month. There's lots going on, the shows, the food, the events, um, the high divers. I absolutely love that show. Um, the fireworks were tonight, um, and they were definitely preparing as you can see from this footage, but I just love the vibe on a really hot summer day. The park just like vibrantly glows. Um, so as you can see here, it looks like electrical has come along really nicely. It looks like it's almost done, um, but I don't know what's inside the tunnel, but it looks done from out here as you just saw. But as you can see, people get them running for the fireworks show. The fireworks at Wonderland are phenomenal, by the way, if you haven't been. Um, so definitely one of the best ways to cool off on a really hot summer day is Timberwolf Falls standing on the bridge. And I just find it so hilarious watching people, <laughs> A, purposely getting soaked, and B, running away from the wave coming at them, as you see here. And then you see Christian from the AI team right there um, getting soaked. Um, <laughs> not my cup of tea where I'm standing, you only get a little bit wet. Um, but yeah, I just love everything about Canada's Wonderland in the summer. And uh, just stay tuned, there is some track update coming up in just a bit. But I wanna know from you guys, what is your favorite um, part about Canada's Wonderland in the summer? Um, comment down below what you guys um, feel is your favorite part about Canada's Wonderland or your home park, if your home park isn't Canada's Wonderland. I wanna know, there is so many unique attractions and experiences at parks in the Cedar Fair chain and Six Flags chain and others around the world that not everyone gets to experience at their home park. So I wanna hear from you guys. Um, but yes, not too much going on with construction. It looks like a lot of the footers are done just as a wrap up because a lot of you want to know about what's going on with construction, but it's a long weekend, not too much. So a lot of the footers are done. It looks like vertical construction for the station and brake run might, again, I'm using the word might, start this week or next, who knows? They are ready. The track pieces should be arriving. As you can see here, all four of these are for Vince. So we know that one track <laughs> truck driver has been dropping off the track. I'm assuming that's Vince and he is responsible for getting the four pieces to Canada's Wonderland. Um, yeah, so we saw on a specific site that they were saying that they're in no rush to get the track pieces here. They wouldn't be in a rush at this point. I mean, Val Raven started construction in October um, and they seemed just fine in getting the coaster done. So with track pieces arriving in July, end of June and July, it definitely symbolizes that uh, they are not in a rush to set this coaster up, but in a rush to set this coaster up. I, I get the hypocrisy on that, but definitely um, they're gonna be starting construction shortly, which is very unique. And we all know that this coaster is most likely gonna be a really unique coaster, which is awesome for Canada's Wonderland. Um, and yes, the height is still in question and I accept all counter arguments for the coaster being a really tall 
dive coaster. That is totally fair. As many of you know who have been watching a long time, I am totally open to discussion on this coaster and I love discussion. It would be boring if I was just sitting here presenting facts to you guys. I'd rather there be speculation and rumors as that's the kind of channel we are, as many of you know. Anything we present to you is always speculation and rumors. Um, as we've said in all our videos, and we don't know the height. We are just presenting evidence and facts as it comes in, and that is um, what we will continue to do, and we are open to all forms of discussion. So whether it's going to be a giga, whether it's going to be 250 feet, whether it's going to be smaller than Valraven, I want to hear from you guys down below as well. What do you guys think? Are we looking at something smaller than Valraven? Are we looking at something 250 feet tall, or are we looking at a giga? It is all up in the air. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoy this footage of the track. Um, for those of you that maybe can enhance an image, go ahead and enhance this image. Maybe uh, you'll see some exciting information on that sticker. Or maybe don't waste your time as maybe BNM changed their stickers and there isn't much information on them. Wink, wink. Um, but anyways, hope you enjoyed this mini construction update. I will be at the park every day as usual, providing more. Give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video. Anyways, enjoy this little funeral for Sledgehammer. Bye.